Hello and welcome back to my humble show. I'm your host for today and every other day, the Articulate Thinker, hopefully. And unfortunately for me, I've been dealing with technical difficulties for the past few months, which came to a screeching halt as of yesterday when one of my hard drives crashed and burned for once and for all. Now the good news is I already have a new one installed, so hopefully things will be going much more smoothly for me moving forward into the future. Fingers crossed. The new hard drive is looking so fresh and so clean, or shall I say, doon, 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 just so fresh, so, so fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> I digress. I did manage to lose a few files, folders, and projects uh, because that particular hard drive was the one which I was running my desktop computer system through where I was doing all of my editing, namely for my Articulate Thinker News Clips channel. Like, subscribe, and enjoy that ride if you haven't already done so. I didn't lose too much in the grand scheme of things, though, because I generally copy my content over to additional hard drives once I've created it. I edit, then upload, then copy, then paste, then delete. And that's that. Uh, I'm still somewhat starting from scratch, though, so bear with me. Bear with me as I share with you what's on my mind. And you can let me know what's on yours. Let me know in the comments below what you think. What say you? And feel free to disagree with me as per usual. I'd be happy to hear what you have to say. <sighs> I was scrolling through X earlier today. And saw something which I thought was worth sharing with you. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to show you a clip a couple of comments from other people and a bit of my own commentary on the matter. We'll see how this this goes. If you haven't noticed, Kamala Harris and her partner in cringe, Tim Walls, have been out on the campaign trail. That's right. They've been enjoying their no questions answered campaign. But things are going relatively well for them. As you can tell, uh, judging by the size of the crowd in this video. Uh-huh. Just as I suspected. A crowd. So props to her for being able to draw a crowd of loudmouths out to scream and shout for her. That's what it's all about, and that's what it's going to take in order for her to win in the end. It's definitely possible, though, so Donald Trump had better not take her for granted. That's what I have to say about that. And this is what Brian Krasenstein said about it. OMG, this is Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Kamala Harris is in town. This is not AI generated. This is a real crowd that was not manipulated like Trump sometimes does. Wisconsin is a crucial swing state. <laughs> yeah. Imagine Democrats having a crowd. It's almost as if there was a concert going on. No, I'm not going to say what some Republicans are saying in that. Well, because musicians have been invited to the Harris Waltz campaign events, uh, it means that they're they're not really there. The supporters aren't really there to support the aforementioned candidates. Uh, considering the amount of, uh, well, screaming and shouting, it, it seems that they could they could be quite a match. Maybe Trump has met his match. Only time will tell. But here's another clip from that event. ALX reposted this one saying, Pro-Palestine protesters chant, Kamala, Kamala, you can't hide. We won't vote for genocide. Kamala Harris responds, You know what? If you want Donald Trump to win, then say that. Otherwise, I'm speaking. Ah, she pulled out the old I'm speaking card. Typical. I have this clip pulled up over here as well. I'm going to just, just play it now so you can see for yourself. Judge for yourself. 
He intends to surrender our fight against the climate crisis, and he intends to end the Affordable Care Act. You know what? If you want Donald Trump to win, then say that, otherwise I'm speaking. Funny how she said she was speaking and then proceeded to stand in silence uh, for approximately 45 seconds, actually. This cuts off before she even starts speaking again, so I'm not sure how, how long the moment of silence, which was not really a moment of silence since the crowd was screaming and shouting behind her. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of amusing to me. Kind of amusing. But uh, you can't really tell just listening there what was said by the, the protester, but supposedly a pro-Palestinian protester accusing her of supporting genocide. No surprise. Uh, she has run into such such uh, protesting at events in the past. And I would imagine that this is one of the main reasons, if not the main reason, why she... She chose Tim Walls instead of Josh Shapiro. But that's another uh, debate for another day. I'll play a little bit more of this. <laughs> so it ends, and uh, she hasn't yet begun to speak again. <sighs> the crowd is saying something like, we won't go back or never go back, whatever they're saying. They've been saying that sort of thing a lot lately because they they apparently like inflation and uh, border crisis and war around the world. They're into that sort of thing, I guess. Asen, or Akin, or however you pronounce his uh, account name, says, Wow, Kamala Harris just destroyed a heckler. Yeah, with her her incredible silence. And her, her I'm speaking comment. Her I'm speaking card. So I'll have more to say about that momentarily, but... Keith Edwards... Someone else on here reposted reposted that as well, saying, This is why Donald Trump is afraid to debate Kamala Harris. Oh. At first he was afraid. He was petrified. Thinking he could never debate Kamala Harris. Uh I can't think of a word that rhymes with uh petrified. Sorry, I did my best. You'll have to do the rest. Let me know what rhymes with divide. Oh, wait. That's what rhymes with uh, petrified. Divide rhymes with petrified. I solved my own problem. I am having an identity crisis here. So I reposted all of that and said, Destroyed a heckler? Too funny. She literally just repeated her patented I'm speaking platitude and stood silently as her fangirls shouted over the alleged heckler. Donald Trump is afraid? I would agree that he boxed himself in by being less enthusiastic about debating Kamala Harris than he was about debating Joe Biden, but the fact remains that only one of them has even debated thus far. And it wasn't Harris. I mean, Democrats were afraid, so afraid in fact, after that last debate that they kicked their own highly acclaimed corpse of a candidate directly into his political coffin and replaced him with a backup incumbent who has never received a single presidential vote, skipped the entire primary process, had an unearned campaign handed to her by establishment politicians and elitist anti-Trumpers, has no actual policy platform, yet, and has yet to partake in a single interview or press conference 17 days 
into her silver spoon writing presumptive nominee Honeymoon. <laughs> the entitlement is unreal. Keep in mind that Trump is the one who is now saying that he's willing to debate even if it's not on his preferred platform. In case you missed it. And that's exactly what he should be saying. After all, where was Kamala Harris when he was handling heated questions at the National Association of Black Journalists event in Chicago? Oh, that's right, she didn't show up, since she'd rather just read teleprompter speeches about how afraid Trump is to gaslight people into ignoring the fact that she has yet to take a single challenging question. What I can't stand is that no matter how egotistical Donald Trump is, He's met with bloviating buffoons like Kamala Harris who talk in circles for years just to have their default position Democrats act like she's making some kind of compelling point. As she's out here collecting slay queen clout and doesn't even have accomplishments of her own to show for it. She's just a walking, talking, box-checking narrative who has emerged from Joe Biden's basement to play a DEI Rapunzel just in time for the 2024 selection. I mean, election. Give me a break. And uh, that's that. Those are my thoughts. That's my commentary. I'm going to be wrapping this up. Suddenly but I would be happy to hear from you, as I already mentioned. My cat's trying to get in the spare room where I'm sitting. I can't think of anything else to say right now. I think that sums it up quite emphatically. That's not to say that uh, Kamala Harris is going to lose. She may... She may very well win the way things are going for her, but I think it is disingenuous to say the least. To say that Donald Trump is the one who is afraid, that J.D. Vance is the one who is afraid, when she's the one who has refused to give anyone the time of day. She just goes out and gives stump speeches as celebrities... Uh, perform behind her even to the point of twerking like Megan the Stallion enough of the horsing around though I gotta go thanks for watching my short show peace <laughs>